when you say cash flow, your sources of income, you cannot only afford to have one source of income. You just imagine, if you have only one source of income, what happens? Tapos meron na akong secondary income, tertiary income, may iba pang apat na income. Yung second income, meron na akong goal. Uh, my second income, uh, lahat ng income nito pang investment. They made money and created their wealth through real estate. I can still remember uh, when we purchased a townhouse unit at a uh, Forbes no so how lessons learned from my father also he's heavily invested in stock in the stock market before percentage wise do you have any suggestions na ganun na dapat ito yung cash ito yung sa real estate ito yung sa stocks or uh, depende talaga kung ano yung comfortable ka gag na gagawin how does Chinkitan diversify his investments is it real estate is it the stock market where does he put it what's his style check this video out Ang galing niya talaga to spot when is the right time to buy and when is the right time to sell. So, if you want to know more about the stock market, listen to this guy. Oo, pakinggan niyo siya. Okay guys, let's talk about diversification. In the past videos, we've talked about this over and over and over. But now, we have a very, very special <laughs> guest guys. One of the experts again. You've seen him in many of our videos. So, gusto ko malaman, ano style mo? Chinkitan, wealth coach. How do you diversify your investments? And how can other people apply it also? Now, wala pa silang ka-background background sa diversification. Alam lang nila, yung concept ng Pilipino na ano eh. Ano? Basta maka-jackpot ako. Hmm. Lagay ko na lang, tod todo lahat. Pag may... Pag may sikat na investment, doon ko lalagay lahat eh. So, how do you do it? Nautusan lang akong bumili ng suka sa labas. Nakita na ako, hiniyaya na ako mag-vlog nito. Hindi. Tingnan mo naman ang gali nito. <laughs> mga, mga sampu gagawin natin ngayon. <laughs> sa mong vlog lahat. Sa mong lahat. <laughs> no, uh, seriously. Uh, when it comes to uh, wealth creation, definitely I always tell people na diversi diversification is key. Uh, diversification in the sense of not only scattering your investment, so yung parati sila na never put your eggs in one basket. Is that right? Mm, correct, correct. Mm. But I always tell people also, the me that meaning of diversification must not first be applied in terms of investment. It must first be applied actually in cash flow. Mm. When you say cash flow, your sources of income, you cannot only afford to have one source of income. You just imagine, if you have only one source of income, what happens if you lose your job? What happens if your business slows down? What happens if your career slows down? So, what happens? That's the reason why people get trapped. So, the diversification process doesn't first need to be applied in investment. It must first be applied in cash flow. On the second place, uh, if you didn't invest it, uh, like, if you don't have s several sources of cash flow, my challenge to you is how can you invest? Mm. Tapos, yung pa napapansin ko sa Pilipino, no? Konti na lang ipon, tapos wala pang extra pumapasok. Tapos, they want yung pero na yun, pag in-invest sila, magic ka, ganun ang kita. Oo, okay. kaya nga ako parati, ang ginagawa ko, kunyari, may regular akong income. Ang regular income ko to, ay lahat pang bayad ng mga necessities ko. Tapos meron akong secondary income, tertiary income, may iba pang apat na income. Yung second income, meron akong goal. Uh, my second income, uh, lahat ng income nito pang investment. Mm. ba diba? Nagigets nyo. So, yan ang ginagawa ko. And likewise, so pagka may pumapasok na siya ng multiple sources of income, just the time, I also learn how to diversify also in terms of form of in, uh, my investment. But, but is it safe to say na, kunyari, may isa kang income, yung goal mo, yung unang income, yun na, yun na bahala sa lahat ng pang gastos mo, yun na yung pang araw-araw, yun na yung pang meralco, yun na yung pang tuition, yun na yung pang tubig, tapos anything extra, yun na yung pang invest, or? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ay, yan yung ano ko, yan yung ginagawa ko, personally. Okay, okay. That's what I do, uh, because, uh, syempre naman, uh, we have to meet all our needs, no? and that one shouldn't be compromised. And any other excess, no? again, hindi yung pang shopping, hindi yan pang bakasyon, hindi yan pang bago ng laptop, pambili ng sapatos, damit, di ba? Yun para sa akin, I grow my money first. Mm. Yun ang pinakaginagawa ko talaga. Okay, so second income for investing. Ngayon, may pumapasok ko na ng income. How do you diversify that? San mo, sa'yo, in your personal practice, ano yung una mong ininvestan? Mm. Na, siguro, mga first investments mo, risk, do you consider yourself a risk taker sa investments or you consider yourself na medyo safe? Medyo safe ka, safe and passive. Uh, first, I invest, I'm medyo conservative kasi ako eh. As a matter of fact, I'm even too conservative. I even ask permission from my parents just to go out today. <laughs> Manunong ako conservative. 
<laughs> so, so, <laughs> so paano yung suka? Saan yung suka? Mamaya, pag uwi ko, may dalan ako suka. Okay. <laughs> Hindi, yun nga. Ang, ang investment ko, personally, uh, I'm heavily invested in property, in real estate. The reason why I'm heavily pro- uh, invested in real estate is because uh, I saw my parents, uh, they, they are just normal per- people that never finished formal education, but they made money and created their wealth through real estate. I can still remember uh, when we purchased a townhouse unit at a uh, Forbes, no? Sa Forbes. Oh, crap. Bang klase. Yeah, sa Forbes, ang palok. Kami, ano, Forbes. Hindi pa ako tapos. Ikaw, asugi ka talaga. Hindi. Balita ko, nag-land grab ka na daw sa Forbes. Hindi. Ano, sa palok. Oo, sa may Governor Forbes. Okay. Sa may, ano, doon, Laxon. So, during that time when we purchased the unit at uh, around I think 1986 or 85, it was around 300 plus thousand pesos per townhouse. Okay. That's around 70 square meter, 200 plus floor area. Man, that's ano. Di- but sobrang laki na ngayon yun yun. Bano- yung value. Oh, oh. So, as a matter of fact, we sold that property after leaving it for 10 years. We sold it for 3.5 each. Whoa. So, na- natira na namin ng 10 years. Tapos yan, nabenta pa ng 3.5 million pesos. So, nakita mo yung appreciation talaga. You can never go wrong through, ano, in terms of sa property and land. So, kaya, I'm not saying that you shouldn't invest in other forms of what? Investment. Yung parents ko kasi are not familiar with other form of investment. Ayan na pinaka basic. That's number one. Oh, yun yung investment. Yung curious ako, after selling it, did you buy another property dun sa pinagbentahan na yun? Or ginamit mo na sa ibang negosyo or sa ibang uh, ibang investments after? Ang galing ng question na yun. Ah. Alam mo ang ginawa nila ng, ng parents ko? Sim- simple lang eh. Uh, actually, they bought two units. They sold it for 3.5 each. They, they had 7 million. In 7 million, binili ulit ang property sa Quezon City. Nung binili ng property sa Quezon City, basically what happened was, after a month, dapat titirhan namin yun eh. Okay. Oo, dapat titirhan namin yun. Pero after a month, di pa namin natitirhan, may nag ng 8.5. <laughs> Oo. So, hindi nyo nag So, 1.5 million. Eh, okay. papa ko mukhang pera. <laughs> so, ang ginawa, binenta na, filinip, Okay. So, kumita ng 1.5 in uh, less than a month time and then purchase another 2 units sa menu Manila naman at 3.5 each. Mm. So, 7 million naman ang binili niya. And then, to cut the long story short, after how many years again we stayed in New Manila, nabenta na naman niya yung unit each na at least 7.5 at saka 8 million. Okay. Yung tag-iisang u- uh, tag-iisang unit. So, nakita ko talaga how they created wealth ba? Simple-minded people, they created wealth to real estate. Hmm. So, ngayon, sa'yo, mamariyal sa'yo ka din or... Ma- yeah. uh, actually, uh, yun, diversification okay. is the key. Okay. So, one of the investment is real estate. I'm also invested, syempre, uh, syempre sa... Uh, ito pala, ito pa isang isi-share ko sa inyo. Okay. Lessons learned. Lessons learned from my father also. He's heavily invested in, stock, in the stock market before. Talaga? Whoa. Oo, oh, oh, grabe. Ala, so, real estate stocks. So, oh, oh. Yung pa yung tinatawagan dati, no? Mm-mm. Hindi lang yun. Yung napapakinggan mo sa radyo, every single day. Sa radyo, nakikinig lang muna siya sa radyo. I think that was early 80s or 90s. Radyo pa yung ano eh. Di ba yung sinasabi yung, uh, Ben Perch, kung 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 may ano yan eh, sinasabi yung ano, basta araw-araw, araw-araw na papakinggan ko yan, tapos sumatawag siya sa floor, tapos nagpapatrade siya. And my father also made some huge money also in the stock market. Hmm. Pero yun yung mga old style, uh, old style of investing. Uh, yung sa kanya naman, it's not investment, para sa kanya, it's more of trading. Okay. So he sells hundreds of thousands of shares, sometimes millions of shares pa ang ginagawa niya during those times. Tapos mabilisan, you consider him someone yes, na high frequency oh, trader? Oh, yung ah. nagka-trade talaga siya. Kasi dalawa po yan, eh, no? when it comes to investment po, when it comes to stock market. Number one, you can become an investor for the long term. You can become a trader. When you say trader, oh, you only hold it for a few weeks, few days, few months, and after that, pag kumita, benta agad. Yan ang ginagawa niya, trading. Okay. Tapos do you... Sa mga nanonood no, na wala pang magsa-start pa lang, do you suggest real estate muna para safer then after mag-stock market sila or do you do you suggest na sabay nila gawin? Hindi kasi ito lang may pros and cons naman lahat hmm. ng investment friendship. 'Di ba? Ang when it comes to investment in the property, maganda siya pero it takes a lot of money. They were talking about millions. Hindi naman ano, unlike sa stock market, you can only Smaller. start with a few thousand, 5,000, 10,000 pesos, you can already start. 
So, if I were you, kung ano yung, saan yung comfort zone mo? If you're a person right now who's watching this video, at marami ka na talagang cash, cash flow, you vote with the property. Kasi sigurado yan, di ba? Appreciates over time. Pero pag when it comes to naman, you're just a starter. You want to create more wealth. Di ba? You want to try it out. Mag-start mag -start ka sa stock market. Hmm. Ito na lang. Before we put this so close, uh, percentage-wise, do you have any suggestions na gano'n na dapat ito yung cash, ito yung sa real estate, ito yung sa stocks, or uh, depende talaga kung ano yung comfortable ka gag na gagawin? Alam mo, when it comes naman to mga rule, yung mga sinasabi nila, oh, when it comes to investment or budgeting, 10-20-70 rule, 10-10-10-70, alam mo, at the end of the day, it all depends on your comfort zone. It all depends on your capability and ability. Ang importante lang, you don't follow numbers, you follow principles. Numbers can mean, like for example, ang formula ko, ah, formula ko when it comes to saving is 50%. I save 50% of my income. So sabihin mo, Eh, paano kung 50% ng endo nung sinave ko, wala na akong kakainin. Skyplex na lang kakainin ko. <laughs> Pero, yun nga ang point. Don't follow me. You follow yung percentage na kaya mo. Ang importante, mag-save ka. Diba? Save a certain percentage. 5%, 10%. At depends on your comfort zone. So, that's my encouragement to you when it comes to ano. However, ito lang yung ano ko, uh, recommendation ko. When you really want to invest in the stock market, personally, I believe in the stock market also uh, because I've witnessed a lot of people who made so much money in the stock market. Yung talagang isang kaibigan ko talaga, yan na lang ginagawa. Talaga, nagtatrade siya, nag invest siya. Trader siya at saka investor siya. Meron siyang short term, meron siyang medium term, at meron siyang mga long term na hindi niya talaga binibenta. And then talaga makikita mo talaga ang, ang galing talaga ng kanyang portfolio. At the same time, ang galing niya talaga to spot when is the right time to buy and when is the right time to sell? So, if you want to know more about the stock market, listen to this guy. Oh, oh, pakinggan niyo siya. Hindi uh, yaban. Uh, ano yun? Nakikisa kayo sa kanya? Hindi naman. Hindi. Sa friend mo? Hindi na. Kasi ang hirap din eh, sumabay. Hmm. Kasi para sa akin, uh, mahirap sumabay. That's also one of the rules. Huwag kang sasabay dahil ginawa lang niya, sasabay ka na. Ako, I would, at the end of the day, I would still want to invest on my own comfort level, at my risk level, at my preference. Para at the end of the day, walang sisihan. Kasi mahirap eh. Pag sinabi niya, tama-tama, with all well-meaning na gusto niya kumita, tapos sinabi niya, tapos bumagsak, eh mag-aaway pa kami. Kaya hindi na rin ako nagtatanong sa kanya. Kaya sa stock market, do not listen to your friend. Kahit sobrang well-meaning niya, sobrang, sobrang galing niya. Kasi magkaiba kayo ng risk tolerance, magkaiba kayo ng pera, magkaiba rin kayo ng time horizon as well. Pati sa akin, na-experience dati. Nung nag-start ako mag-invest, mga 2008-2009, sobrang excited ako eh. So lahat ng mga kaibigan ko, tinitext ko, bilhin niyo to, bilhin niyo to, bilhin niyo to. <laughs> <laughs> eh ako, willing ako magcut loss eh. Yung mentality ko sa trading, oh. na okay lang ako magkamali kahit konti, tapos I'm out na. Some of them, pag kumikita, okay sila, pero pag pagtalo na, oh, hindi nila mapitawan, hindi nila mapitawan. So, so lesson learned also na, ano eh, you can, if you want to invest in the stock market, it has to be based on your own decision. It has to be based on yung sarili mong strategy also. Which is also, yun yung point also ng video na to. Now, we have courses below. Uh, meron din real estate for Chinkitan this November. Yeah. Oh, ang ang pinaka-best yan siguro first. I would highly recommend that you join this course, yung online course. Mm. O, oh, kwento mo kung ano yung online course. Oh, we have we have a course called The What, The Why, The How about of the Stock Market. So, it's the basic course sa stock market. Kung wala ka pang idea, hindi mo alam kung ano yung stock market, wala ka pang uh, idea kung magkano kailangan mo ipasok, ano yung kailangan mong bilhin, ano yung magandang stock, sugal ba to, mahirap pa to gawin, uh, we will teach you the very basics of what the stock market is, that it's not so hard as what most people think it is. And the link is down below for you to sign up. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-attend ng training course na live kasi you can do it at the comfort of your own. Not only that, room. even if you're a team abroad, sa team abroad ka, you'll be able to watch this for one whole year. And then this is the first first collab namin ni Marvin Hermo of many. So if you want to learn more about it, all you need to join. Hey, by the way, uh, the registration here is very minimal. Uy, alam nyo ba? Kung mag-charge to, grabe. <laughs> <laughs> grabe. Pero ito, binarat ko siya. Binarat ko. Talaga, sinabi ko, Marvin, let's do this for the people. Let's make it more affordable. You know what? He agreed. No, so it's only 799 pesos for you to learn all of these things he just which he mentioned. So if you're interested, all you need to do, just type the word called stock market na lang. Type the word called stock market if you're interested. Marvin will send you a link in his uh, in his comment box. Now he's sending you a link so that you'll be able to enroll and register. 
I have the word called stock market. So, so that's it, no? So diversification is all about spreading your assets, your capital. Na it's not in one place. It's not just in one area. So that if something goes bad, protected ka pa rin. So I want to encourage you, try to learn the stock market, try to learn real estate, try to learn earning money from business because there's no such thing as the perfect investment. There's no such thing as the best investment. You have to find something that will work for you. And for me, uh, it's a stock market. The stock market works. Eh? It's one of the best investments out there. And I'm, I'm sharing this not out of principle or something that I read. I really saw it. I re I've seen it over the past decade that if it's done right, pag inaral na mabuti and you know how to select good stocks at the right time and then you allocated it well, it will help you make your money grow. Not just now, but it's something that you can do repeatedly over the long term. So, that's it. Any final words? Mr. Chinkitan, Chink Positive, well yes, coach. Guys, Sobrang idol. Follow him at his uh, ano, YouTube account and also follow me at my YouTube mm. account, Chink Positive. And then once you click subscribe, don't forget to click the bell button mm. so pag may mga bago kami mga videos, you'll be notified. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.